Okay, in this video, it's going to be very quick. I'm going to use the ideal gas, or I'm going to use Avogadro's law to come up with the ideal gas law. So Avogadro's set law says that at a specific pressure, temperature, and volume, or specific sorry pressure and temperature, a given amount, a given amount of gas. will occupy a given volume. So what that means then is that the volume occupied by the gas is equal to the number of moles and then times some constant. We don't know what that constant is so we're going to just put it in as a C for right now, some constant. If we use this along with what we know about pressure and temperature, we know that according to the combined gas law, P1 V1 over T1 is equal to some constant that can be related to some other P2 V2 and T2. What we assumed here was that we had a constant number of gas molecules, so that could be this right here. The only thing is we're going to change this constant because we don't just have volume here, we have the consideration of pressure and temperature as well. So using this, I can get that for a set pressure, volume, and temperature, I'm going to get some number of gas molecules, or some moles. There's a ratio here, though. We don't know what that ratio is, so we can just put in a constant R. Now, if our pressure is in kilopascals, our volume is in liters, and our temperature is in Kelvin, then we could plot this versus the number of moles. And we would see that because they depend directly on each other, we get a straight line. And if we were to come up with the slope of that straight line, we could get the value of this constant, R. And so we could set up our equation, PV over T, which is like our Y value, is equal to mx, or slope times n. The value with these units turns out to be 8.31 kilopascals liters per kelvin. This formula is not typically written this way. It's typically written PV equals nRT, where we've simply moved the T up to the other side and switched the order of the N and the R. And this is the ideal gas law. So, combining Avogadro's hypothesis and what we already knew about the relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature, we can come up with the ideal gas law, which allows us to predict moles for any pressure, temperature, and volume. So we don't have to use SATP or STP anymore.